Whatever motorcycle magazines you read, chances are the executives carry helmets instead of briefcases and often put in a hard day's work at speeds up to 125 miles per hour. They like to ride, and there's lots of riding at all of the magazines. Sometimes a thousand miles to be put on a machine before the final performance tests. These are break-in miles, opportunities for the staff to ride the bikes under the same conditions you ride yours. Performance statistics are gathered at a drag strip. Bikes pushed to the braking point, electronically timed. A dynamometer is used to check horsepower figures, torque characteristics, and performance potential. When the results are in, editors and testers meet to compile and compare experiences. And then, the wrap-up, putting it on paper. Some tests are good, some are great, like those on the Suzuki GS754 stroke, the motorcycle cycle magazine called the best motorcycle in the 750 class. Enthusiasm for the GS750 started here, with styling. Motorcyclists said, We agreed that the new beast was really fine looking. It reeks of 77 styling everywhere. Smooth, clean lines that flow nicely with the aid of plain graphics. A squared off rear fender section. Disc brakes front and rear. Double walled four into two pipes and even a good-looking chrome front fender. Instrumentation came in for compliments, too. Street Bike described it this way. Instead of the usual green-tinted light that has a tendency to glare a bit in your eyes, Suzuki has seen fit to set the GS up with an orange tint to the lights. This lighting system allows you to read easily what the tack and speedometer have to say at a glance. But when you turn away, you don't have to wait while your eyes adjust to the dark. But does it go? Said Cycle World, it's also a two-stage type of power with calm willingness from idle to 6,000 RPM and all hell breaking loose from 6,000 to the red line at 9,000. What the motorcycle magazines didn't put into words, they put into pictures, such as these from Cycle Magazine, pointing out the nine-piece crank chain drive for the cams, aluminum clutch, and all ball and roller bearings. And this close-up illustrating the GS's full circle crank and two of its five roller bearing mains. They commented on Suzuki's new dimension cam chain tensioner that pushes against a long shoe and never needs to be adjusted. And the ductile steel camshafts that spin in unbushed cylinder head cavities and work against valve adjuster shims made of tool steel in thickness increments of 0.05 millimeters. Another feature that impressed Cycle was the heavily reinforced GS swing arm supported on needle bearings, a unique feature in chain drive street bikes. But what about performance? magazines reported runs in the 12s for the quarter mile, said Cycle World. Our test Suzuki GS750 did the standing quarter mile in 12.83 seconds. The GS750 is far and away quicker than any current 750 we've tested. On the highway, road tests on the GS750 were equally sensational. Rider magazine. A touch of the choke and the four-stroke starts effortlessly. Cycle World, 
The GS750 is geared for easy touring. Normal open road cruising means running at 3,800 to 4,000 RPM for the best possible fuel economy, smoothness, lack of vibration. Small bumps are absorbed softly. The rider can look down and watch the ripples disappearing into the forks while not being able to feel them. Spring rates at both ends work out nearly perfectly for a good ride and excellent handling. High speed performance was evaluated by rider in this way. The high speed stability is excellent through the curves as well as on the straightaway. And the quick throttle response offers instant excitement when desired. Stopping ability was praised too. Said Cycle Guide, the Suzuki had stronger, more fade-free brakes than the Kawasaki KZ1000 and made quicker stops in our braking tests. Stopping from an actual 60 miles per hour, the difference was almost 8 feet. The Suzuki made a best stop of 137 feet 3 inches, and the Kawasaki, which was hampered by a bit of brake fade, made a best stop of 145 feet. Comparison with other motorcycles was frequently mentioned in the road tests. Said street bike, as far as power is concerned, Yamaha's new 750 is so far outclassed by the Suzuki that it's ridiculous. And they wrapped up their conclusions like this. Cycle Guide, the GS 750 is the fastest 750 currently available. And it is also without question the best handling big bore Japanese street bike around. Motorcyclist. It's the beginning of a new generation of street bikes that performs in every sense of the word. Street bike. At this time, there is no other 750 that offers you as much as this one does for the price. Cycle world. The Suzuki GS750 has a great engine and a chassis to match. It'll outrun damn near anything. And cycle. It is without question the best motorcycle in the 750 class. GS750. Only one of an entire line of GS double overhead cam four strokes from Suzuki, including the GS 550, a four cylinder sports tourer in the mid range field, and GS 400, a double overhead cam twin cylinder street commuter with the same quality and attention to details as the other GSs. Suzuki four stroke GSs, a good way to forget your troubles. So get on Suzuki. Thank <laughs> you.